We were condemned to die with the rest of the common folk when London was destroyed, but we rose up. We commandeered the ships that were meant to carry the wealthy to safety and sailed north. Here we found a generator and claimed it for ourselves. Now we must gather all our people in this new city before the Lords arrive to rob us of our freedom again. Today we are playing the refugee scenario. I haven't really played this one before so it could get very interesting towards the end. Uh, but let's get started. I haven't really got a strategy so we're just going to go over the basics and go from there. Uh, so I'm going to collect up this steel and wood to begin with and I am actually going to delete these paths here just to give us a little bit of extra wood. Um, I do want to explore the Frostland uh, to start with because um, there's a lot of resources on the Frostland as always um, and we're going to need them because we don't have a lot of people. So essentially with this scenario um, survivors will arrive at the uh, at the generator site every so often so we've got to house them feed them make sure they're like cared for and all that so it, it can get a very like um you've got to be on top of resources at all times and housing and stuff so um it's asking me to do child workers and um, we've got children in this scenario uh we're not going to do child labor don't worry don't worry kids we're not going to send you down the mines um i am going to do emergency shift though because we want that extended shift uh, as soon as we uh well as soon as we can get it um got enough for a gathering post now so i'm just gonna put that over there and i will put another gathering post over here as well so that will collect up uh, the coal and the steel and then this one's doing coal steam cores and then a couple of wood piles as well do want to get a uh, workshop going very close there we go uh, so i'll put that down there uh, so like I said, I'm going to get the the scouts going fairly quickly. So we're going to do the beacon to start with. I'm not going to worry about housing for the first night. It's only it's only minus 20. Don't worry about it. Um, we'll turn on the generator. But I will provide shelter for everyone. That's very possible uh, to do. So let's... Uh, well, it says the heating's off. So we'll turn it on. Not just yet. <laughs> we'll do it in a minute. I think when you get to like nine o'clock, that's when you turn it on because the cutoff period for people getting ill is 10 o'clock. Um, and it takes a little bit of time to heat up the uh, surrounding area. So we've got our gathering posts online. So what I'll do is I'll take workers off there and put them in there. And then I'll take these off here, get some in the workshop. Let's get that beacon going. And then also we will put works in this one as well. I'm going to do, I'm going to put this one on uh, emergency shift. So it'll work for 24 hours uh, just because we want to get the wood coming in. And uh, you can use 24 hour shift once before people start dying. So it's a good idea to, to use it uh, at least once. You need to get as much productivity out of these people as possible. Um, we are starting to get sick people. That is fine. Uh, we can do a new law. So let's do extended shift like I said. And I'm wondering if I've made a mistake already. Not going to lie. <laughs> I'm thinking, you know what? Yeah, we'll do we'll do faster gathering instead of the beacon to begin with. Um, just because I want to start collecting up these resources. And uh, well, we need to spare five people to send out into the Frostland. So... Once this first group of people arrive, uh, the first group of refugees arrive, they're going straight back out into the Frostland to, to hunt for stuff. Um, that is the idea. So, we do have a, um, what's it called, weather forecast. Some of the scenarios that goes away. I hope this doesn't go away. Oh, we've got our first lot of survivors. Welcome, guys. Welcome to the uh, generator. Make yourself at home, but five of you are going... Uh, gonna be visiting the Frostland once again. So, how many people arrived there? I have no idea. Not many, so we're all good there. So, faster gathering's research. Let's do the beacon, and I'm gonna turn the generator off just to save on coal, because, like I said, it's only minus 20. Oh, we probably need to get people 
in a medical post. So I'm going to put that right here. It's not in the heat zone because I want to have housing in the heat zone. Uh, so let's get three engineers in there. We don't need a lot. We just need to get people into the medical bay. I am going to now think about doing um, housing. So we've got, right, we've got spare people, right? We've got 15. So let's get those on that wood pile and uh, get them to work. So a, a good tip that I <laughs> will, will, will always say is if there's people doing nothing. You need to get them doing something. Uh, so yeah, here we go. Beacon and now we need need to think about food as well people starting to get hungry that's fine uh, I think the most important thing would be housing so let's get these tents down to begin with and um, what else will we, what else will we do here I think we'll do hunters gear so we've got 50 food rations or 50 raw food so far so we are gonna need a cook house cook house is 20 wood uh, we'll put that on extended shift as well. I always forget. I love extended shift, but I always forget to put it on. <laughs> so uh, let's put the generator back on. Everyone is now warm. So that's good. And people are getting into, uh, into tents, which is also absolutely fantastic. Um, adaption. What are we going to do now? Um... Let's do let's do radical treatment. This is again, it's one of my go-to things. Radical treatment, and uh, well, getting people overcrowded in the uh, medical bays, and then organ transplants as well. So we go snow pit, and now we've got the children as well. We can do child shelters and medic apprentices. Uh, so we can we can make the. <laughs> The uh, medical facilities here are going to be absolutely amazing. So just get get them in the medical bay, get them healed up and back to work. We've got our first temperature drop. That's, I want to say that's fine, but it's not ideal. Um, we do need to build the beacon. Uh, so we need 25 wood, or oh, sorry, 20 wood, 35 steel, which we're nearly at. Saying that before we do that, we will get a cookhouse down. Um, I'll put that there because we don't want people eating the raw food because we want to use that raw food to convert into actual proper meals to begin with. So, saying that, we can actually build a beacon straight away. So, I'm going to put that over. Well, it needs to be sort of out the way. I'm going to put it here and then we'll have like a little bit here which doesn't have to be heated up. So, that's all good there. Get a path to it. And we will think about Hunter's Hut as well and something else. I can't remember what though. Uh, cool, that's researched. Let's get the sawmill and the steelworks going because they're going to be very good sources of... Um, very good sources of resources, of course. So uh, if we can get those set up fairly quickly, that would be very useful. These are not getting built, but that's fine. Um, it's because people are at work, that's why. Oh no, I forgot to do that. Oh, that's annoying. Anyway, uh, our, <laughs> our second group arrive. So we'll get them housing as well. This is the thing, people just keep coming thick and fast, so you've got to deal with it. Uh, but if you've got resources all going, that's good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take these people off here because we don't need them to collect that much coal. In fact, let's do five off there and then we can actually use those five for the beacon and get them out exploring. Saying that, I do want to do another workshop. The dub well, not double, but like it improves the efficiency of um, research. And then, uh, should I do still, still works as well? Or do we want to start thinking about going up here for more scouts and lighter scout sleds? I think uh, we need heaters. Uh, we need heaters, definitely. Because we're going to do that. So we'll do more scouts and then lighter scout sleds. We'll aim for that. Uh, so yeah, the beacon has been built. 
let's get some people out onto the frost land and we're gonna go up this way first i think there's more people there actually so that's all good and let's think we've got that on extended shift that needs to go on extended shift and let's put one let's fill that up with engineers to start with so like i said people are getting hungry and they are going to start eating raw food and uh while we're at it we should probably do a couple more tents and then even more tents after that so we're all well we need like i said we just need to get resources and under control uh because we have, we're very low here uh we don't have any steel coming in at the moment that could be an issue so we probably should do steel works next i was gonna do more scouts wasn't i but that's fine uh, let's do overcrowding because we are we have got like 10 people uh 10 people ill now that's not good but deal with it so yeah let's get let's just get these 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 houses because that's going to stop people getting sick overnight that's good food has been converted into that so let's do hunter's huts uh yeah we'll do hunter's hut next i feel like we would need two of those at least two of those so heaters have been researched uh we want to get on to the next the next level now oh no we're gonna do steelworks that was it oh i swear i i there's so much going on i can't keep track of it all so oh what am i doing steelworks here we go probably get a sawmill down as well uh but we need wood for that we'll, we'll go along with this for now but i think uh an important thing to do is get food going annoyingly these take 15 15 workers and it's only 20 raw food um these have reached the abandoned camp so we'll take those resources and we will what we'll do we'll go to frozen pond because i think around this area there's a lot of resources so if we can get them in quickly then that will uh, prepare us well for the rest of the uh, rest of the game so uh what we got so so we got still works yeah i think i think we'll have to do still the steel mill or still works whatever it's called now so oh we've got missing children not ideal uh so let's open up a new thing over here what we'll do is we'll go frozen pond we'll come back and then we'll go to the trail bend and then once we've got more scouts we'll send them over to where we were originally going to uh to go so let's get oh, i can only do one more tent so let's get that going and well we're going to need another lot of tents so in fact <laughs> by the end of the game we're going to have so many tents we're not going to know what to do with them so discontent and hope is looking okay i'm fine with that maybe need another medical post but we won't i don't think that i don't think that's necessary for right now um cool. so yeah drawing boards would be the next thing on the tech tree i am thinking you know we get this sawmill down so these have reached the frozen pond it's nothing to do here but we'll bring them back and then send them send them to trail bend like i said and that will give us at least a little bit of resource to work with so let's take let's take stop quickly still works was one of the things we've got these over here so we'll do that and then sawmill and then we'll do the next level of um tech tree like the i think it's called drafting machines or drafting boards or something so we'll do that next uh, cool and we've got we have got 10 people we've got 10 engineers anyway so we'll get those in there and put that on extended shift coal is looking good at the moment so we could probably take you know what let's have one person gathering coal uh so cool we've got some more resources 
going. Uh, so yeah, let's get them over to Trail Bend. Oh, we've got two lots of survivors coming as well. So I probably should have mentioned this earlier, but we need to save at least 250 people, and then we've got 10 groups of refugees come uh, come in. Those are the objectives. Um, so let's actually get. I'm wondering, do we need to think about housing or do we do? Let's do let's do drawing boards next, and then we'll do the sawmill. Because once the sawmill is built, we can put these people straight in it, and that will that will that will do well for us. I think that will do very well for us. Um, people are outside or homeless overnight at minus thirty. Not ideal, but they're gonna have to. They're gonna have to. They have to live with it at the moment. Um, I might do child shelters now, and then medic apprentices. Or do I want to do corpse? No, let's do corpse disposal, and then we'll do organ transplants because that is cheaper. I'm gonna put this um, snow pit. Uh, well, this needs to be out the way because we don't want to get it heated up. So we're gonna have a little heat, like non-heated zone over here weren't we so let's put it there and we'll get that going oh we've run out of wood again ah oh, resources in in this is not good it's just because we don't have have the people to put into these gathering posts and stuff so once we've got like refugees coming in it should the situation should start to uh improve yeah, let's get that. I think we need to get that sawmill down. Snow pit is established. That's good. People don't like it, but it's, it is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. Um, so we've got survivors. We'll escort these to the city. If you send them to the city, they can die. So we don't want anyone to die. So we've got four engineers and 15 children coming. So um, we should probably do something about the children <laughs> at some point. Uh, actually, they're fine. They're fine. They're just having fun in the snow, and they they don't know anything about like, the wider world or anything that's happening. So it's all good. I've got four people not doing anything, so I could put them on here, but it's cold, so they'll probably get sick. But then we do need to collect this up because I want I need this space. I will put those on there for now. Um, it's gonna take 61, well over 61 hours to get that collected up, but. If we get uh, started on it now, it should be fine. Um, so, sawmill, that's the next thing. If I, I've actually remembered it. Oh, I thought it was 20 wood, so let's put that back. Put it back here. Uh, cannot build there for some reason. I think it's because them um, uh, resource piles are in the way, so let's get that there. We've got people arriving in an hour so well they've arrived and they've gone straight to build the sawmill and then we've got the scouts returning with more survivors the missing children have been found absolutely amazing doing uh, doing the work uh, let's actually send these people out here I've totally forgotten about doing <laughs> actually no I didn't forget I just uh, had to do drawing boards um, so we'll get more scouts going in a second. And another law. So we'll do all the transplants. The sick recover faster. And even another group arrives. Now we've got 42 homeless people. So we should probably address that. Um, cool. Extended shift on that. We'll do extended shift on that as well. Again, it's just me forgetting about it. Food. We probably need another hunter's hut as well. Right. Calm down, calm down. We just it's too many things going on. There's just too many things going on. Once we've got that sawmill going, then we can then we can start cooking, right? So let's get more people on that coal uh, on that wood pile. And um We don't need it well, we don't need people on there. We don't need it. I might do another medical post you know what I will do another medical post saying that we are going to put more people on there because it's going to get colder and we're going to use um we're going to start using heaters so we're all good there right let's get some more housing down so we'll put one there and 
and then we'll do another one. It's another another day wasted of doing no research. This is minus 40. Minus 40. So medical bay went down. So we'll put heater on that, heater on that. And everywhere else I think is fine. We do need another medical bay though. Like fairly quickly. So yeah, we'll send them to the old storehouse. So that's all good there. Um and now we've got the storm up and running. We've got wood coming in. So that's good. Let's do house there and yeah, we'll do a medical post. The other medical post is there. I'm wondering can I put it? Yeah, let's put it let's put it right there. Get a path to it. We can do a cheaper path like that. And we've got no one to build it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take these people off there they should now go and build the medical post and then we'll put the engineers in cool. so the coal pile has been depleted over here which is good and someone got frostbite oh no anyway um it's fine <laughs> we do need to, right people are getting hungry so let's get the hunter's hut down and um, well, we need then then we need people to go in the hunter's hut. I want to take them off this here and uh, get those out hunting. Uh, let's get that medical bay or medical post working. Everyone is now in a in a in a like a hospital or a medical bay, so that's good. But we do need more housing, so we need four more. That's fine. What's this? People are hungry. Um, let's feed them because we were going to do that anyway. Can't forget about it. Oh, more people have arrived. Oh no. I mean, it's good, but also we need to do something about it. So let's get them all a house first. I think that's the most basic thing, right? And then well, we're starting to get enough people to actually make a difference doing stuff, which is absolutely amazing. So, want to get? I want to get on that frost land again. I need to. I need to start exploring that fairly quickly. Oh, that's a lot of food and stuff there, which is really good. Oh, we've got twenty-five people, so let's get them in there. Houses are being built. I mean, we've got a lot of. We've got a lot of tents being built. I think we've done a too many tents but that that's fine just preparing for the future we just need to get we need to get food in so I'm hoping this is gonna be so we'll have 40 food coming in per day now which is good or well, 40 raw food that's going straight into the cookhouse being converted and being eaten and people and now getting not hungry uh maybe need another medical medical bay uh what's it gonna do next child shelters we could do child shelters what i'm gonna do actually i'm gonna go down house of prayer because the hope is getting a little bit low for my liking so let's get these in um try and cover as many houses or tents as possible so I'll put that one there. See, this is why I wanted to get that rid of that wood pile. It's right in the way. So I'll put one there. And, uh, no, right. I will not do any more wood until I've got more scouts. That's what it is. That's, that's, that's what I need to do. Um, repair the ice drill or dismantle the ice drill. We are going to dismantle the ice drill, okay? And then we're gonna actually, I'm actually gonna, should I? What have we got? I was thinking of coming back. So we've got 260 wood, steam core, and that. You know what, I'm gonna bring them back and I'm gonna send them out again. And then that, again, just another little boost. So these, oh, this has run out of gatherable resources. So we'll get rid of that. And uh, what's going on here? Long hours of toil. No, we like extended shift, so we don't worry about that. So we've got workers not doing anything. We could do another. Yeah, I'm going to do another resource 
gathering post up here because we want to get those steam cores so we're researching more scouts another medical post that's what I was going to do hunter's hut is everyone fed? no maybe we need another hunter's hut I want to do another one and then another medical post as well so we need 25 wood for that Cool, so that's uh, that's researched to do lighter scout sleds that's that's the game changer there we're gonna need 75 wood and that but I am gonna do wall drill so wall drill 160 wood per day that does 80 wood so yeah wall drill is much better so we'll go for that next have we got homeless people no we're gonna do medical bay <laughs> so we're gonna do a medical bay I keep forgetting, it must be very frustrating. Oh, as if. We've got 20, 24 wood. Um, can I delete that for one extra wood? I can. Oh, hang on. No, that's annoying. Uh, the hunter's hut. I, I don't think that's hunter's hut's going to work anyway. And we've got these people coming back with raw food, so. I think we're going to prioritise the medical bay first. So I'm gonna put that I put that over here. People are now beginning to starve. And someone's been amputated. Oh no. Uh, we'll sign care house just so they don't die. And we need to put a care house down to be fair. Uh, we'll have a little bit of respite from the temperature, which is good, but we have got a double temperature drop soon. So that's all good there. We've got wood and food now coming in, which is amazing. Uh, so we'll send them back out over here. So we'll send them to old storehouse first because it's quicker to send them to somewhere they've already been. And then we'll go fishing boat because it's a shorter distance. And uh, oh, we've got five refugee groups already in the sea, which is good. We've got five more, so we're about halfway. And then we've got to deal with the lords, which is another whole thing. So, uh, oh, where are my engineers? Um, something there, something. Oh, there's five engineers in there. We'll just do a couple of people in there, engineers on there, and then we've got enough, um, enough capacity. People are eating raw food. I didn't want that to happen, but for now that's fine. It's because it's not, it's not working, and I'd rather them eat raw food than than die. I'm, like, I'm not a monster I'm saying that I'm making them eat raw food. So maybe I am. I don't know. Uh, coal, I'm gonna put a couple people collecting coal in there and then the rest can go in there. Oh, I still don't have a half to that hunter's hut for some reason. Okay. So we'll do wall drill next and then we'll go draft the machines and before I forget, we need to send out scouts. So where can I get five people from? You know what? I'm going to take five people out of this hunter's hut because we had like a, a nice stock pile of food arrive. So let's get them going and we'll take them to Hangman. No, we'll take them over this way. So we'll send them to this trail bend first and then wreck the vehicle. And then we'll like, we have to go all the way over here <laughs> eventually. So uh, we'll get to that when we get to it. So we we're doing we're doing wall drill aren't we yeah everyone is in work um we've got this resource gathering post um built so we can start collecting that when we need to and people are now getting fed which is good and the wheel drill the wheel drill i was gonna say the wall drill has been uh, has been done so let's get that down and then what I will actually do is I might take people off the sawmill. Uh, so this took a steam core. This is why we need steam cores because we are now gonna, well, we need to think about coal mining. Actually, because we've got the double the double temperature drop coming, we need to think about heating. Um, I think we're doing fairly well to be totally honest, but I don't know because I don't really, it feels like we're doing well, but it could all go wrong. I haven't played this like 
enough to know <laughs> if I'm on track or not. Uh, but we'll send these to the wrecked vehicle. Um, these have reached the old storehouse, so we'll send them onto the fishing boat. I think you can start a uh, like an outpost there, but I don't really use outposts. Um, let's connect that up with streets and oh, so we've got twenty, we've got forty people arriving in two hours and another twenty, so that's sixty in total. Let's just take a quick look. We've got forty-three vacant beds. Like I have built way too many tents. But that's uh, it's kind of worked out, hasn't it? So don't mind. Let's do another couple here. Um, yeah, that's fine. Oh, I need to build another house of prayer, don't I? So let's do that uh, again. I'll just cover as many tents as I can, which I think will be there. And then yeah, let's do let's do heating. So I'm gonna do the generator power upgrade. And then I th thinking about steam hub and advanced heaters as well, actually. Cool, so we've got the next lot of refugees come in, which is good. I need to build care house as well. Oh my days. So many things, <laughs> so many things to do. Oh no, hang on, I need to sign care house and then build it. Okay. I'm getting confused. I'm getting confused. The white pass has been discovered, so we can send people out to there eventually. Um, I'm going to take... I've got engineers in here. Okay, let's swap them out for those. We'll get engineers in the medical bays. Yeah, we'll fully max out the medical bays. Doing pretty well for that at the moment. And people getting hungry, that's fine. That should, that should be fine, right? I'm going to get some more people on the Hunter's Hut. And the Rebirth of Faith. Nice. So I'm going to do that just to try and raise hope a bit. We need to do the sermon quite often. Uh, I'm going to put a couple more people in there just so we can convert that food fairly quickly. And we were going to do Care House, weren't we? So let's do that next. I do want to. So I'm trying to get things bunched up in the middle. So when we do like the steam hubs, that will be uh, that will be good. So it'll be easier to cover all of the houses and stuff with the steam hubs. Uh, cool. So they've taken as well quite a lot of resources there. So White Pass. This is where we start going towards the coastline. So I think it is anyway. Um, I. I do need to get that. I do need to get that food situation sorted. Oh no! Right, we've got 16 hours to feed everyone. Like, there is no reason people should be going hungry right now. We've got enough raw food. I think it was just I didn't have enough people in here um, to actually make the food, but that's fine. So, fishing boat. Uh, we dismantled it. Oh, we can't make an outpost. I thought we could, but. That's fine. We'll go aircraft wreck and then hanged man hill next because we're doing well on here. So I've just realized I've got the wall drill up and running, but it's not actually working because no one's in it. So I'm just taking people off the sawmill, put them in there, and then I'll get engineers collecting up this steel and steam cores over here. So everyone is doing something. Care house has been built and we're doing heaters or no we're doing the uh the next power generator so i'm going to turn that down again and we can use overdrive now which is very useful but a little bit sketchy um right let's have a think maybe medical post upgrade would be good that leads to infirmary because we are going to need that in the future and coal mining uh you know what coal mining would be good as well let's do drafting machines though because that will open up the next lot and then we can do faster scout sleds cool hungry were fed that was a bit touch and go i'm not gonna lie i thought thought people were gonna uh starve but we would do it we did it so long hours of toil now nah, discontent's fine so we, we would ignore that and 
well, just keep keep going with it, right? Draft the machines have been researched. Amazing. Uh, let's do lighter scout sleds. We've got like a day before temperature drops. Now, these I'm hoping these will work if they drop a cu couple more um, levels, but not not a hundred percent convinced they will. <laughs> so. Once we've done once we've done lighter scout sleds, we can do advanced heaters next. What we will do is put this heat level up and overdrive as well. Or maybe just overdrive. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, so these have reached the aircraft wreck. We'll take these resources, a lot of resources there. And oh, see look, so many like so many things to go and explore. So lighter scout sleds, I think, is a good shout. We get them there quick, get them there, like exploring quickly back. We're all good. So we've got another group arrived. That's group number six. Uh, we've got well, it seems like we've got enough housing for them, which is good. No one seems to be homeless. I don't know. I don't know how I've got that so wrong, but. I don't, I don't mind. It looks like we're doing well. In fact, what I'm going to do, because we've got the, um, we've got the wood full, I'm actually going to start building housing um, every so often, just so we are prepared for incoming groups in the future. So, lighter scout sleds have been researched, and now we're going to do improved heaters. There we go. And that should get us to the next thing. So we've got some more engineers. Uh, in fact, we've got quite a few engineers. So I'm going to do some more, um, more of those uh, workshops. I forgot what they were called. And oh, again, so many things going on. Um, we'll get the engineers in those, um, in those workshops. What do I want to do now? Prosthetics I could do. I'm wondering if I should do that. Or let's do let's go for child shelters now. Listen, I do need to have like build these though, which is annoying. And we've got 60 children. So these hold 15 each, so we need four. That's 15, 30, 45. Ah, uh, annoying. I can't put it. I can't put it next to it. I'll spin it around, put it there. Yeah, not ideal, but. I mean, it, it works. It works. We're like minus 30 at the moment, going to minus 50 soon. We can't really complain. Uh, cool, that's all good. Um, I do need to think about coal mining next. So, we are running out of coal quite a bit, and it's not going to help with um, uh, temperatures going down. So, we have found more refugees more people oh my god right escort them to the city again because we want to um raw food we'll explore we'll take these resources and then ruined warehouse we'll go to i did think we we're going to go the hanged man hill but we'll think about that later once i've gone to the once i've gone to that next area if there's nowhere else to go after that, i'll bring these back to the city and then send them back out that's the plan there. Um, children cared for, amazing. And improved heaters have been researched. Now, I need to do coal mining, don't I? That's probably the next thing. So coal mining, we'll get that working. We've got two steam cores, which is enough. Because we have just run out of that coal there. So that's that, we have no more coal coming in, which is not ideal with that so i'm wondering okay this is made this is really bad timing this is awful timing in fact but we will deal with it we'll adapt we'll overcome everyone is in a tent that's the main thing we've got good health care so we should be able to survive that little bit of there ah, it's only like a day i say it's only a day but it could be devastating um the main thing is, let's get these on extended shift. Oh, is these this extended shift? This is extended shift. Everything's extended shift, I think. 
Ooh, we've only got one like amputee as well, which is good. Uh, take these resources. Oh, cool. All right, there's nothing left left to explore over there. Let's bring these back because they've got we've got a lot of stuff coming back here. So coal, uh, we've got like 500 coal coming back. So if they can get back fairly quickly, we've got one coming in two hours. That could be a savior. Come on. So it's oh, what's this? Avalanche survivors. Okay, so we've now got black spire has been discovered so once they come back we'll send them out to black spire they got avalanched cool right let's get that going oh no okay so they are out of range of the um okay they're out of range of the the, the generator which is not good i'm not gonna lie that's that's awful <laughs> so um I don't think I. I don't think I researched Steam Hub, right? No, I kind of forgotten it. Okay, that's good. Right, we're thirteen people homeless. Now we go to the Black Spire. What else is there? Stone ship. Okay. What I will do is put overdrive on, just so we're all good there. Um. Okay, let's get this coal mine done. And we need to we need to get that. Um, we need to get this. Oh, Steam Hub! I can't, I can't believe I forgot it. I can't believe it. A lot of people are going to get ill, and people are homeless. So let's get some tents down. Um, we'll put a couple there. Again, let's do some more around here. Again, just trying to do it as quick as we can. Um, what we'll do now is medic apprentices. So this will give another boost to our medical posts. So it's 120 at the moment. It should give us another. It should give us another efficiency boost, which we will need. All these places are are cold. So um, let's get the steam hubs down so we can see old areas here so that'd be a good one to go to let's go to oh, it's so difficult to see what needs to be covered because we don't want to oh we don't want to do it too much that we're wasting coal but i think those three will be sufficient cool we've got a lot of people we've got a lot a lot of people um so i'm thinking maybe we do Another hunter's hut. Because people are hungry again. Um, and have we got... Yeah, we've got engineers, so... Um, I think maybe... So we've got lighter scout sleds. Let's do medical post upgrade and an infirmary. That's what we'll do next. Because we're starting to get gravely ill people you know what let's do yeah look so many people got, got ill over there um so oh hang on that's because oh hang on hang on did we run out of coal i think we ran out of coal overdrive will turn it off as well so i did forget that was on <laughs> cool i thought loads of people got sick but it was just because the medical bays went like um went off so we didn't have the heat oh, we need to turn heaters on now okay that's fine just get them in just get them in as quick as we can uh, so these uh, came back didn't they so where are we going now we'll go yeah we'll go hangman hill so we'll go band camp first and then hangman hill um, fun fact about me uh, we're near where I live there's a place called hangman's hill and if you um, park your car in it the and don't do anything the car will roll up the hill it's, it's wild um pretty cool so we've got a cold tent over here so but no one's in it which is good so what we're actually going to do i'm going to move that there and just get rid of that and then there was another cold tent there so i'm just going to replace these tents with like into somewhere that's in range of a steam hub uh which would be here because then we know 
that there are not going to be any cold homes. And then I'll make a I'll make a really like conscious effort to actually put um, tents in right places next to steam hubs going forward. Uh, cool. So we'll send these on. Um, we do need to get the infirmary going. I need to build the, the coal mines, don't I? So one there and one there. It's all good. Let's get them up and working. Temperature is still minus fifty. Okay. Right. I thought it'd gone up, but. It looks like we we have kind of survived this little little bit of um well scarcity of scare scarce no it's not scarcity it's a very um dangerous time <laughs> I don't know why you scarcity right we'll take these guys back to the city um and then we just need yeah we just need to get these coal mines up and running right so temperature please go up please go up I think we've I think we've just about caught this you know so strangers on the horizon okay so um a ship has landed at land in sight and they need to investigate uh, so we'll send people out there so discover the land in sight And the cold is now coming back in, so let's put that on level one. We'll do level one. And I think all the heaters are off, actually. Yeah, all the heaters are off, which is good. So we can start stockpiling some coal. Right, where have these gone? Oh, they've got steam core. We will we'll be taken. Like, we'll, <laughs> resources will, will be taken by burying the poor man. But we'll take his, uh, take his tools. Uh, the thing is, like... If you don't know what the moral choice is, then is it really a moral choice? I just see resources and go, yeah, here we go. Take them. <laughs> right, we'll keep on still. Even, oh, still is full. Wood is full. Um, coal is not full. So I think maybe a good idea is to do... Ah, oh, right, yeah. Infer we'll do infirmary. We're going to do a couple of these infirmaries, right? Let's say we'll do one there and one there and this is purely to um anticipate the lords coming in so we'll get two two of those go uh, going on more avalanche survivors are found and oh, we need to send these out here now first so we'll go to white pass first and then stone ship and then land in sight and we'll, we'll go explore down there um food food is looking good but I do think we actually need more. Um, so I'm going to start stockpiling some. And we've got a lot of people. So I'm going to do a couple more of these hunter's huts. And I'm going to do another cookhouse as well. Um, where can I put this? I want it in a in range of a steam hub, really. Uh, which is not there, but it fits there, which is quite good. Uh, another amputee not ideal but it's fine so yeah let's get more food coming in and uh cook house we'll get people in there um right i'm just trying to think of what i need to start stockpiling uh because i'm gonna put a couple of resource depots down um let's do three of those one for each thing so we'll do food rations we'll do steel and we'll do wood oh we probably will need one for coal as well um, right, let's have a let's have a real think about this now. So I'm just kind of doing willy nilly stuff. Um, we don't need any of those. We're not going to do factory. The the amputees will just have to live with it for now. Flying tactics would be good. Healthcare insulation would be very good. Um, heating. I'm wondering, do we need another like the power upgrade too? Because how cold is it going to get? It's going to go to minus 50 again. That's a couple of days time though. So we won't worry about that just yet. And if we're desperate, we can use overdrive. Resource depot upgrade. Coal mining optimization. That's what we're looking for. That's what we're looking for. And then we could go for the, uh, the improved coal mines. We don't have any steam cores at the moment. Um, so we'll 
we're all good for that. Oh, we do need to go down the faith route, to be totally honest. Um, so let's get these going. I'm just going to do five in each. Just to get these people into the uh, medical bays. And while we're here, let's do steel. We'll do food rations and we'll do wood. And that will give us a nice little stockpile. Um, these have got some steam cores. Oh, some even like even more steam cores. Absolutely amazing. Uh, so let's go back to hang, Hanged Man Hill and then we'll go Rock Formation. So you get as much like... Um, as much efficiency out of these people as possible. I'm going to change those to uh, workers um, because we can use the engineers for it. Saying that, we should probably see if we've got engineers working in anywhere they shouldn't be. We've got one in the cookhouse, so we'll take that one out. And uh, where else have we got? Workshops, medical posts, infirmaries. Yeah, I think that's fine. So then we'll put those in there. But the city is looking pretty good at the moment. Done pretty well. Uh, so, yeah, let's go for evening prayers. I keep forgetting to do these. So let's get hope up. That's good. And then let's go to rock formation. And then that's everything over there explored, I believe. Um, so that's all good. Then we can disband them and put them to work over here. So we've got 32 people. I am wondering the next thing to do is, well, more, more food, right? More food. We haven't got any homeless people. I'm going to do a couple more of these hunters huts because um, we're going to start getting a lot of people. We've got 15 more people coming in so we can deal with that. That's fine. But it's when it's, it's when it's when the Lords start coming. That's the problem. So in fact, you know what? I'm actually going to start building Lords like place for, for, for them to um, live right now. So let's have a quick look just to see how many houses or tents we've got um, we've got 23 vacant beds 16 16 of which are in a care house so we'll just say we've got no vacant beds really uh, so let's see if we've got enough space around on these steam hubs yeah we put one there one there and we can't put one there because that's not in range and not there either so that will deal with the people coming in uh, in like 12 hours time. time. Get moving. Uh, let's get extended shifts on everywhere. Did I put an extended shift on this? I did. Cool. I need to get those steam cores. 0 0.07 an hour. That's like outrageous. <laughs> There's nothing we can do about it though. Okay, these have reached the rock formation. There's nothing to do here. Oh no, I thought that was, I thought that was everything. Okay, that's fine. We'll go, we'll go to the iron bank. Cool. So that's been researched. Again, let's have a quick think about this. I wonder if we need to do healthcare insulation. Yeah, healthcare insulation, and then we can do hunting or oh, flying hunters. Yeah, let's do let's do healthcare insulation first because that's going to really help with the cold situation. We won't have to put heaters on, I don't think. Um, we are using a lot of. It seems like we're using a lot of wood. So actually, let's get some people in there. It's chilly, but it's fine. Uh, efficiency is down everywhere because seventy people are being treated. These have reached stone ship. There's nothing to do here. Oh my days! Um, there's a there's a lot. I thought I thought we'd I thought we'd pretty much done exploring, but no, clearly not. We'll just yeah, we'll just keep these guys out here as long as we can then, um, because I don't think they need to be fed if they're out on the frost land. So that's good. They've reached the iron bank now, so steam cores and iron will take it. We need to survive. 
onto the rock slide. Healthcare installation has been researched, absolutely fantastic. And then hunting, uh, we're gonna do flying hunters. We will have to build them, but it will give us a, a lot of food, maybe too much food. And um, like I said, I'm gonna start building a little like district over here. I'm just gonna fill it up with as many houses as I can. Um, I've got five more, one, two, three. Oh, no, one, two, three. Right, let's get those going. That's absolutely fantastic. Then here. And I, I honestly don't think that is enough housing. <laughs> I uh, like, I don't think it is, but just trying to think where else I can build housing like I mean, we've got a little bit extra space up here over here maybe up here and um, I will put steam hubs all over it as well so we'll do that one that one oh, is that gonna cover everything oh that is absolutely fantastic it needs to be connected to a path as well when those steam hubs get um, oh, the final group is here. That's good. We've saved all of the people. That is that is the goal. That was the goal. However, we now need to deal with the next thing that's going to happen. So, um, which is the Lord's coming. So, we'll, we'll just deal with them when they come. That's fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, <laughs> let's see. We've got steam cores and coal here. And let's go to steam lorry. That's all good. What's going on here? United by faith. Superb. Love to hear it. Cool. This little district's going up very nicely. I will turn off... I'll turn off that steam hub for now. And I'll turn off that one for now. Because they don't need to be using coal. Um, again, we're getting so many resources from here. This is really good. I'm wondering, should I just bring... Uh, hang on, which one's... Which one's which? This one is this one. Okay. Then we'll go coal mine. This one, it, to be fair, this one hasn't actually got that many. It's got steam cores and coal on that, but... We'll take them to the land inside. I was debating whether or not to bring them back. I think we would be fine. Oh no, one person died! An amputee suicide! Oh, because um, we we didn't. Oh, that's really annoying. <laughs> we didn't. Uh, we didn't sign the prosthetics law. That's why. Oh well, it it is what it is. Um, I mean, it is it is my fault. I apologise. We'll uh, always remember you. Um, anyway, <laughs> anyway, we need to deal with the lords. That's the main thing coming in next. So, I'd like to do all of that. Um, a young couple hope rises that's good but the temperature falls which is not good so let's get um steam level two on no we'll put steam level one on again and then we'll put heaters on these cook houses and then flying hunters okay so we'll convert some of these to, to flying hunters Let's do those ones there. And let's get on to the next one. So, um, let's think, let's think, let's think. We're doing, you know what, we are actually in pretty well. Hunting tactics will give us a lot more people to work with. Um, I think these generate efficiency ones will be good. Unless we do mechanical calculators. Um, what does that give us? Steam coal mine, steam wall drill. I don't think we need those just yet. You know what? Let's do the efficiency upgrade and then we can think about doing other stuff, right? Steel wreckage has been depleted. I think that's over here. So we're just waiting for this steam core thing to be done. So it's gonna take a while I don't know because I haven't even done one yet but we'll keep we'll keep extended shift on 
Uh, let's do the prosthetics then. I mean, it's a bit late for it because someone already killed themselves, but um, it's nothing. Well, nothing we can do about it now. I'm not going to restart because it's not that deep. <laughs> so let's go. Uh, let's do resource deeper upgrade so we can store more stuff. And well, I'm wondering, do we need to build more? Uh, more housing because speaking of the devil the lords are, are coming um, so when are they going to be when are they going to be arriving we've got one day until they arrive so or maybe like one and a half days so we've got 35 children come in we've got 50 workers coming and 15 engineers so quick maths that's 100 people <laughs> that's 100 people one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, that's a hundred people. That's good. We we can house those. Then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're gonna do another eighty people after that. So we've got three lots of lords coming in. Um, heating the homes, the cold homes. I oh, never do that. Sign sign your own death wish if you agree to do that because you need to use so much coal to heat them, and then the temperature drops. So you need to use even more coal wild um yeah what are we doing on here yeah resource depot upgrade because we need to start stockpiling this coal i think um what i'm gonna do actually i'm gonna change that to coal and we'll leave it at that for now uh so explore the coal mine we will dismantle the machines for resources yeah we'll do that we're not going to start a coal mine there if you just take the coal then you can do an outpost I never use outposts. Maybe I, maybe I should. Maybe it's a good, a good tactic, but I never do. Um, looming mystery. Okay, we've gone to the land inside. So now we've got the icebound hulks and the ocean liner. I'll go ice. Uh, I can't speak. Ocean liner first. I was going to call it the ocean liner, <laughs> and then we'll go to icebound hulks after. And then I'm hoping that's it. I'm hoping that's all there is over there. Uh, what I will do as well, again, just a little bit of anticipation, but I'm going to put another infirmary down, um, ideally in a in range of a steam hub. Will it fit over here? No, it won't. I think I've got too many of these hunters huts, you know. I'm going to dismantle one. I'm going to dismantle this one. And then I'm going to put an infirmary right there. And I'm going to do more housing, actually. Uh, so... Let's do housing all along there. So that's another four. And I will probably need a steam hub there as well. And that will cover the infirmary, the houses, and I can't... It can't do the cookhouse and this at the same time. Or can it? No, I can't. Unless I put it like there. So yeah, let's let's do a little bit of building. Put a nice little path down the middle. And we can get a steam hub right in the middle there. And that covers that covers everything. That's good. Cool. So I think the medical bays are very hot. Or not very well. They're chilly, but they're gonna they're gonna like be hot. <laughs> they're hot enough. Again, I don't know what I'm talking about at the moment. Uh, right, these have reached our city, so that's good. They've got nothing left to do, so we'll disband those. And uh, I guess I I guess they became hungry. Don't know. Um, I'm going to change these to flying hunters. Oh, yeah, okay, right. We got... Cool. I thought, I thought I'd thought i destroyed the raw food that they were bringing in, but it looks like we're, we're good for that. Um, oh, what, what, else can I, what else can I do? What else can I do? We could probably do power upgrade too. Um... Let's do this one. Mechanical engines. 
And I'm wondering, do I need another cookhouse? I don't think I don't think it will hurt having another cookhouse. I'll just get it in range of a steam hub, which I can. Looks like we're good. Oh, no resources in gatherable area. Oh, look, look, look. So they have actually gathered the steam hubs up. That's that's really good. Uh, so we'll get rid of that. Oh, the lords are unarmed, but they're going to be arriving in a in a day. So we've got 100 people coming in a day. And um, like some of them are, like hungry, some of them are sick, some of them are ill. I can't remember which are which. So again, we'll just we'll just deal with it when they when they get here. Uh, we don't have an, any engineers in this infirmary yet, but we are going to be getting 15 engineers coming here. So that's good. Um, so yeah, I think I will do the. You know what? I could probably do the steam resourcing stuff, right? Uh, so first of all, I'm going to do steam coal mine because we are well, we are running out of wood quite a bit now. So if we replace that, because we've got nine steam cores. Ah, that's annoying. Those hunters' hut, those hunters' huts didn't get built in time to go out, or did they? No. Oh, they did. Oh, amazing. Okay, at least one did. Oh, we've reached the ocean liner. Four steam cores and <laughs> so much coal. Uh, take them back to the landing site and then go icebound holds. We're gonna. I, I. I feel like it was unnecessary going that far out, but. Um, I mean, hasn't really harmed us, has it? It was just a bit of overkill. We're gonna have like a billion steam cores now, which I'm not not mad about, but all good. Um. Let's see, the engineers still haven't arrived, of course, because they're coming in seven hours. So we're back to minus 50. So we need to put on our steam level two, and this is where we're going to start seeing the coal drop. Uh, so yeah, we're going to be losing coal every day now. We have got two days coal. Uh... Well, we've got two good two days coal, which is good, and we've got the steam, uh, the steam coal mine started. So you know what? Let's upgrade these, and we'll turn on the steam hub as well over here, just so it's not chilly. And the lords are approaching. Let's go. Let's go. Um, these steam, um, yeah, those steam coal mines will be very, very helpful. I'm going to do steam wall drill as well. And then I'm thinking about just doing efficiency stuff because we're going to go down to minus 60. Uh, what we'll do as well, we will do faith keepers because we're going to need those in a minute. So let's get those built. Uh, where can these go? I'll put those there. And this one is going to need a heater. Ooh, what's, what's going on over here? That's gonna need a heater as well. Okay, that's good. Ah, the lords of the lords are here. There's so many of them. There's like a hundred of them, which is wild. But we have got tents for them, which is a which is a good thing. So we'll let everyone in. Um, so we have two days to provide shelter and feed them all, and hope will fall. The hope is very high. So that's good. So we've got them housed in. We just need to turn this on. And there's a hundred um, hungry people. So the lords are in rags, and they are very happy that we let them in. I mean, we're not we're not awful, are we? So there we go. Um, these are still complaining about extended shifts. Look at the situation. There's nothing else to do. I haven't even built a pub. Um, I will put heater on there, and let's get the engineers into that infirmary there. And that is still comfortable at minus 50 doing well so the coal is still on about two days have those coal mines been built yet they have we will just take a quick look so yeah we're gaining coal now every day which is good i think i think we've i think we've done pretty well we've got one hungry lord left come on just go, go get that food cool so that is uh well the lord the first lot of lords has, has been sorted out that was 
a lot easier than I thought. But it was good preparation. That's what we did. Prepare. Uh, prepared for it and it was all good. We do need to build more housing though. So, how many vacant beds have we got? 149. Oh. We've got loads. We've got loads. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Um, this is all going very well. Uh, let's do... Uh, we can do efficiency. I wanted to do efficiency, didn't I? We'll do heater efficiency. That will that will help out a lot. And oh, I was going to do the steam wall drill, but I don't. I don't think it's necessary. Um, I have freezing homes. I'm not again. Sign your own death wish. Uh, one of the lords refuses to work. Uh, let's send him to work. The discontent is very high. Now, why is that? I think it's because it's cold. So what I will do, I will go to here and here. I do need to build... Oh, the Faith Keepers. Yeah, we'll put those in there. Discontent has dropped dramatically, to be fair. So that's good. Again, we won't worry about the amputees, but we've got the, the law, the prosthetics law signed, so no one else will die. Um, the coal is filling up, which is very surprising. And then the faith keepers. What's this? Nighttime procession. Discontent will fall when the procession starts at midnight. Oh, what's going on? Oh, these are the faith keepers. They're going to... Uh, they're going to make sure everyone stays in line using faith how how nice of them okay so <laughs> it's, it's more like a cult if anything jeez uh right all good anyway we will do the night time procession because why not be there at quarter past midnight and then go to bed and then go to work jeez i would not survive i need i need my sleep um, the Lord refused to work. He was battered for looking down on our people. He was sent to the medical post. All good. We've got enough. We've got enough health care. Don't worry. Uh, more strangers spotted. Oh, no. So we've got another two days, really. And we've got another 60, 90. We've got another 100 people coming. Um, so we are going to have to have some more housing. Built. I mean, we've got 140. How many? It was 140. There's essentially 150. Um, there's essentially 150 vacant beds, so that's like another. That's 200 there. Let's put a couple more, and I think, I think that will cover everything. Um, it's just going to be a case of getting them healed up and doing other stuff. So now, where is my snow pit? I was thinking, I've been putting um, steam hubs all over the place, but I don't know where my snow pit is because if you heat it up people can start getting sick um is it, was it down here is that it snow pit yeah okay that's fine okay it's not being it's not being um heated so we're all good there the hulks we've got that and then that's everything explored there so let's bring these guys back uh bring them back they've got 600 coal eight <laughs> Eight steam cores. Oh my days. Yeah, very unnecessary, but um, I'll take it. I'll take it. Let's bring them back. And it looks like we're in good shape to actually uh, complete this. Annoying, annoying that someone died, but um, it's just something we need to do. We didn't. We didn't really. Well, I didn't really. Um, it, it just. It just slipped my mind that people without prosthetics kill themselves so uh it's it's a lesson learned right it's a lesson learned we'll take these out of here because they actually i'm gonna dismantle dismantle that um uh sawmill so let's do another power upgrade because oh let's get heater on there just because we've got the temperature dropping again and I feel like that's going to make everything unbearable. Uh, the Lords um, told us about a radio mast. Okay, the radio... <laughs> the ra 
Is there a radio mask? Oh, my days, there's a radio mask. Okay. Guys, you're going to have to go to the radio mask instead. I'm sorry. Um, I, Not that we need to. I just want to, I just want to explore everything. I just want to explore everything. Uh, Faith Cooper's found some illegal such of food. Um, hope will rise, the hungry will be fed. Don't worry, we've got loads of food rations, so we don't need it. We've got hope, hope going off the, off the charts. Discontent fall in, which is good. That will probably rise though once, once this goes down, but we're now on seam level three so we will just uh keep the scene of what two just for now and oh i'm wondering are these the are these going to be able to keep up with demand if we put on steam level three it's only a couple of days it's only a couple of days i think we're fine i think we're fine uh so we've got the power upgrade two what else is good here Range upgrade is not great because it's more efficient to use the steam hubs, exploration, we don't really need any of those resources. Um, uh, again, not really necessary. I guess we could just do these ones, right? So, infirmary mechanization, and we could do infirmary checklist. Uh, in fact, you know what? We'll, we'll go towards that, right? You know what, actually, you know what we could do, which would be very helpful with the coal situation? Coal thumper, and then um, get people gathering coal there, because I have a sneaking suspicion. Yeah, there we go. Look, it's going to drop again after, and we're going to have to survive that minus 60 for quite a long time. Uh, people have started to get sick quite a bit. Um, we'll go to the radio mast next, because... They've reached the Black Spire. We've been there before. Don't worry about it. And the purpose. Right, we're not going to go any further than Faith Keepers. I will do the temple. Hear me, hear me. New um, the I can't remember what that does, though. But we'll put it down. And you know what else would be good? The shrines, because that increases, um, increases efficiency. Right, Steam Level 3 goes on. Um... We've got a couple of things that need heaters. We are just going to do heaters here. Just because steam hub. Um, don't want to build a steam hub. You know what? It probably is more efficient to build a steam hub. Let's write it. This is a good, this is a good, um, good test, actually. So, yeah, we are going to be losing some coal a day at minus 60 with how we are at the moment. So, we do need to improve that which I think we will do with the well we can do with the steam not the steam uh, with the coal thumper so we'll do coal thumper steam coal thumper and we just need to get a little bit of coal coming in right it's not that much of a deficit um, it's um, let's have a uh, it's not, it's not a lot. It's not a lot. I can't be bothered to do the maths on that. But we're, we're all good. The Lords are coming in six hours. Um, long hours of tools. I won't address that right now. We do need... We do need these coal mines working flat out. So, let's get a couple of coal thumpers down. I'm going to put them up here. Um, yeah, let's do one. Actually, I'll do. I'll just do. I'll just do one for now, and we'll put two gathering posts next to it. Are they covered by that? No, they're not. Okay, what's going on? The sick lords are coming. Okay, so these are the ill people. Got three hours. We've got a lot of. Um, we have got a lot of uh, capacity in our in our infirmaries and that. There's even more stuff after the, the radio mast. Oh my days! This is uh, this is outrageous. Those people just want to come home. Okay, let's get these in here. These this is cold over here. This is very very cold. 
So you know what I will do? I'll put a I'll put a steam hub over here, which covers. Um, oh, that's annoying. I need I need it to be up here. Okay, if we can build a path. Yeah, let's build that. Steam hub goes there. That covers coal thumper. Those uh, resource posts or gathering posts and the wall drill. So good for that. Good for that. Uh, these need extended shifts, of course. I put one on extended shift, but not the others. Okay, the sick lords are in. Our healthcare can handle it. We've done a good job on the healthcare. So how many how many sick lords are coming? And they've all got housing. So oh, geez, six. I think every every single one of them was sick. So sixty have gone into. The infirmary is already We've got 40 still to go in. I'm sure we had enough capacity for that. Um, maybe not. However, we've got seven steam cores, so just, just, just put some more down, right? Put one over here. Put another one over there. I think with overcrowding, they can take 20 each. So let's get them built. Uh, I mean, they're being healed up. Uh, look at that, actually. They are going into infirmaries, so. But then we've got, we do have to worry about our people already. Oh, we've got to build the temple. Let's build the temple. Uh, so faith, house of prayer. Nope. Why can't I build the temple? Oh, what am I doing? Oh, we're running out of steel, okay. Okay, uh, it's because we it's because we just built these infirmaries, wasn't it? We'll get enough. Um, we'll get enough in a minute, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, heating, food. I was gonna do infirmary checklists, but I don't think it's necessary. So, food is looking good. Dangerous rumors. Discontent people may get hurt let's do that they, uh, discontent is a, a, an acceptable level for me so we won't worry oh there's even more survivors oh no um nope save them against their will i mean we're going to save everyone aren't we so we need we need oh. let's actually do let's actually do another lot of scouts going to the uh, broken tree over here because we've got so many people now doing nothing, it's uh, not very good. So that's making that much coal. So yeah, let's see what our coal production is looking like. Uh, still, still not. It's not good. It's not good enough. Okay, right. This is this is the main issue we need to address now. Then is the resources. So. Steam coal mine, advanced coal mine, coal mine rationalization. Okay, I think we'll go coal mine and rationalization. Or we could just do the classic and do a bunch of um, coal thumpers. I might do that, you know. So coal thumper. Um, again, but then it needs to be heated and stuff, doesn't it? So it's kind of, it's kind of like not ideal to put a coal thumper down just to put another, like just to be able to heat it. If that makes sense. We've got about 18 hours of coal, which is not ideal. Um, saying that, the temperature will, uh, temperature will go down. Okay, uh, it will go up. In fact, so we just need to survive until that until that time right saying that cold is now going up oh my days okay and then we've got a lot of coal coming okay we're fine for coal for now 10 steam cores oh no like jesus this is like a master class if anything uh right we can disband these ones now they've done they've done so much walking <laughs> they've done so much walking they just need a rest uh, right, good good thing though is 
Um, we can do different engine. We've got a bunch of resources in, so we'll go for the coal mine and rational rationalization. And food. I'm wondering. I think. I think we've got enough food. We've got enough. Um, oh, we've got 70 children and 30 engineers coming. So that's all good. So yeah, I was going to do shrines as well. So that increases efficiency. I do need to build that temple. Keep forgetting. Keep forgetting. So I'm going to put a shrine there next to that coal mine. A shrine there next to that coal mine. And I'm going to put a shrine over here. Covering those gathering posts and wall drill. I think that should be fine. Uh, let's get the temple down where to put it though I uh, uh, oh, no it won't fit there I'll put it there again I can't remember what the temple does but let's hit those to get hope and discontent sorted oh faith keepers we can do the procession in a minute so we'll activate that, try and get discontent a little bit lower. Again, half past midnight, be there or be square. Uh, this is good, nothing to do here. Oh my, literally, it's going on and on and on. No idea. Shrines have been erected. And then the night time procession has been uh, started. Uh, someone attacked a lord. Anyway, uh, they were left as an amputee. Not good, but we've got the care house. So they'll go straight into there. And people are now getting even more sick. In fact, a lot of people got sick. Like 50 people. Not uh, not ideal. Let's, uh, let's, let's be honest with that. And even more people are getting sick. Okay, so here we go. We're back to minus 50, so we can put it down to steam level 2. Everything will still work, but we'll get more coal in. Now, should I do bunk houses? Because that will help a lot. We could do like a few bunk houses here and there. Because we've got we've got coal and steel. Uh oh we hang, on, we've got we've got seven like we've got a hundred more people coming in, so. I think we've got enough housing. No, we don't. We still don't have enough. Okay. So we need like another couple of tents. Um, will they fit? No, not in the range of the steam hub. That's fine there. That's not fine there. We just need another two, really. Don't really want to put another steam hub down. Ah, what I could do... Let's no, I can't put it there. Um, I'll put it. Uh, let's put it. Oh my days! I can't even make a decision. Yeah, anyway, I'm gonna put it there. It will be cold, but the next thing we will research is. Um, I was gonna coal mining rational rationalization, but I will do the steam hub range upgrade. And but that does take more coal. So is it is it worth it? Probably not, but we'll deal with it. We'll deal with it when we deal with it. In fact, we only need to increase the range of this one, don't we? The temple has been built. Amazing. Um, what does this do? Hope will rise. Discontent will fall. 20 food rations, let's do that. Discontent drops dramatically, wow. And then we've got, uh, okay, we will not do faith anymore. Is there anything else we can do this, uh, do this side? Um, ah, we never got to the pub, never got to the pub, oh well. I think we're pretty much done with laws. We don't, I don't really wanna be building anything. I, I do find that, do, do, kind of feel a little bit bad I depraved them of a pub but 
What can you do? Nothing. Um, what did we just do there? Oh, Steam, Steam Hub range upgrade. Okay, we'll do the coal mining rationalization next. And while we're at it, actually, I should have probably done this before, but more resource. Oh, look, there's space here for a tent, and there's literally space there for a tent, so. Oh, well. We'll do a couple more of those. Just so we can start stockpiling coal instead of like reaching the limit. Uh, freezing homes again. It's just not. It's just not ideal. Uh, take these woods resources, and then that's it. Everything. Everything is. Everything is explored out in there. All right. So that's good times. Good times. So yeah, let's get coal on here and so annoyingly all of the so we want to keep that on that annoyingly all of these go to range two ready okay so we don't really want them on range two because it does take more coal does it Lord Craven is coming. Who's this guy? <laughs> so, oh, he's part of these, the engineers. Okay. I'm wondering if actually heat range to. Oh, I don't think it does actually. I don't think it does. Um, take any more coal. But we do need to double check. Okay, we're in the green. We're in the green there. So let's just stop stockpiling this. Or, oh no, we've got two temperature drops. Oh my days. So Lord Craven is here. Um, let them in. I can deal with it. I can deal with it. Just don't worry about it. Powerless and terrified. Oh, he's, he, he's just done. <laughs> he's just uh, he's just powerless. Okay, so we've got three days to resolve the class conflict. So stay in charge at least one day. Keep hope above. 50% which you're doing and keep discontent below 25 so let's get a couple of housing uh, houses down so we'll do one there and we'll do one there that's fine clearly I uh, underestimated how many people will come in we've got enough food for them saying that food is looking a little bit it's getting a little bit scarce right now discontent has risen dramatically okay we're gonna have to use all of these and have to use all of our tools in our arsenal to to get that down so coal mine and rationalization has done what we can do is get rid of these extended shifts now that will decrease uh that will decrease the um discontent quite a bit so we'll disband those ones um and we need to stay in charge for at least one day we can do this we can do this we just need to get that discontent down um, so temple I think if we hit these get the um, get the extended shifts off then we'll be sorted so yeah let's start let's start doing those we don't really need them in these anymore yeah this contents going down loads uh, what else has got that so food I'm wondering if we if we actually hit this, it might actually just complete complete it. So oh we're so close. So close to it. Is there another there must be one more workplace. There must be. Oh over here. Okay, so we now need to stay in charge for one day, which I think we can do. What's going on here? A lynch mob. Okay. Oh stop them. Okay. They were gonna. They were gonna kill old Lord Craven, which is not, not, not what we want. Not what we want. So that's the reason we needed the Faith Keepers to keep him alive. Without the Faith Keepers, like they will just, they will just go for him, and nothing you can do about it. Um, send our men to calm him down. Okay, so we'll send the Faith Keepers for that as well. 
absolutely fantastic. And can we do these? Uh, yeah, we can. So we'll do them straight away. Discontent is still a little bit above 25%. However, we will be able to do ceremonial service. So that discontent will actually rise once we do that. So I'm going to do steam level three and put these back on extended shift. I do need that coal coming in. We've run out of food. See, look, we've run out of food. I thought we were well good for food. Um, oh, discontent's dropped dramatically. I don't know why. So I think we, I think we, I think we're good. I think we're absolutely good. Class conflict has been resolved. Okay. Is it just a case of surviving now? We are equal. Okay, we are equal. That's good. Oh, we've done it. We have survived. Absolutely fantastic. I totally wasn't expecting that. Uh, but yeah, awesome. Thank you so much for watching. We'll have a nice time lapse. Um, if you did enjoy the video, obviously hit the like button and subscribe for more Frostpunk uh, content coming soon. So I'll leave you with the uh, time lapse as always. So stay safe, have fun. I'll see you on the next one. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>